Hi, it's 3rd August 2021. Just wanted to give you a quick update on the progress with uh, the three key things that we are focusing on right now, which is uh, grafted brinjal, lady's finger and drumstick. So let me start with the grafted brinjal. Uh, these are about uh, 12 weeks old now. As I had mentioned in one of the previous videos, we uh, we got the grafted brinjal saplings uh, roughly about 700 in number, maybe around 750 in number, and I think 20 to 30 of them did not come properly. They gone wasted. Around 500 of them have come reasonably well. Another 200 is slightly above average. So in about 12 week period time, we started getting flowers, I think from the fifth week onwards. And we kept removing the flowers till like uh, these were two months old, that is eight weeks old. And then we left uh, the flowers as is. So over the last two weeks, uh, we have been taking out the yield. And I must say that it's, it's, it's quite impressive. So we are averaging roughly about uh, 25 kg per week. Uh, so I've taken out roughly about 50 kg from the 700 odd plants. This is about half an acre and we planted them at a distance of 3 feet plant to plant and around 9 feet between the rows. And in the center we have done ladies finger as an intercrop for now. I'm just hoping that grafted brinjal will go grow a little wider um, and it will require 9 feet gap. So for plant protection we've been giving Jeevamrita and once in a month roughly we also give Gana Jeevamrita. Sorry, they are growth, growth manures and for plant protection we've been giving um, the neem spray at about 0.5% concentration and once I have given the buttermilk spray at about 5% concentration so we gave that to mainly control the caterpillars um, I think two or three plants got really badly affected but after we gave the buttermilk spray and we chopped off the affected leaves um, we don't see that problem anymore. And as far as wastage is concerned, it roughly ranges about 4 to 5 percent now. And there are a lot of flowers all the time. So during the flowering stage, we gave uh, coconut water, ripened coconut water at about uh, 3 to 5 percent concentration. And as far as the lady's finger is concerned, um, so far we have taken about 115 kg I think. Of that the first 50 kg came from 10 beds, roughly 10 cents. And now the yield, whatever we are taking now, is roughly from 20 cents. So we have sowed lady's finger almost everywhere, uh, in between drumstick, in between brinjal, and even in these empty places. I think the primary crop we wanted to now focus on is just grafted brinjal, just looking to see if we can expand it for the remaining half an acre as well. Just wanted to wait and see how this comes along in the next few months. I am given to understand that this is a year-long crop and yield is expected throughout the year. I am not sure how much of that will materialize. I am just hoping that uh, this level of yield, if it can continue for two to three months in a row, and. Uh, maybe like three times a year that should be quite decent I would say
and I'm also given to understand these plans are, um, are long duration plans like a minimum three to five years is what I'm told I'm yet to uh, find out if that is really true but but it appears that these are definitely slightly longer than the usual brinjal which lasts for about six months if these can last at least for two years with a continuous yield for like on an average six months in a year that will be fantastic I do see that these are generally uh, pest resistant as you see the uh, the plants are looking really healthy mm, not a lot of uh, holes that I typically observed in in the earlier you know versions of the uh, brinjal that we tried which are non-grafted so those we directly planted the saplings and I've also tried direct uh, sowing of the seeds so overall really pleased with grafted brinjal looking forward to scale it up wait for another couple of months and then maybe we will scale it up lady's finger is decent i think if we calculate on a per acre basis based on the experiments that we have conducted so far i think it is ranging roughly at about 1 to 1.5 ton per acre obviously we have not done lady's finger entirely for the acre just a just a calculation for one acre based on the 30 cents uh, from which we are getting the yield now so jeevamrita is once in every two weeks and then every alternate week we do neem spray or butter buttermilk spray now we have prepared panchagavya um, so we're planning to spray that at about 3% uh, concentration as you see the uh, brinjals are looking really healthy and there's a lot of good feedback from the shop and even at my own home when we tried I do really feel the difference Let's have a look at the drumstick field. So we planned for about 900 bits in roughly one and a half acres space. And I do see that the uh, germination rate is about 50%. So we did drumstick rows, row to row space of uh, nine feet. And plant to plant is six feet, and with the growth rate of uh, sorry germination rate of fifty percent, there's still uh, around four hundred to five hundred uh, spots that are empty right now. And uh, we tried directly sowing the seeds the second time. The first time we sowed two seeds per pit. And the second time we tried three per pit. Um, I'm not sure if it is due to the quality of seeds. The second time around, the germination rate was extremely poor. I could not see literally any uh, sprouts coming out of the new seeds. It is also possible because there are a lot of weeds these days because of the rainy season. Last one week or so has been a little soft, not much rains in Bangalore. But generally, Due to the rainy season, the kale, that is the weeds, are literally all over the place. So, we are trying to adopt another strategy now, which is uh, to, to sow the seeds in pockets, just like a nursery. So, we've got about uh, 500 plastic pockets, the plastic covers. And we've sowed uh, like one seed per pocket and in about 21 to 30 days after the germination we are planning to transplant them back into the field just hoping that that technique works better than direct sowing of seeds so these are all by the way directly sowed and 
some of them are extremely good like the one that you're seeing but some are average and a few are really pathetic this is the level of growth and this entire field drumstick plants are roughly about 12 weeks old now and this is also ashada month in karnataka or adi in tamil during these months usually there's a lot of wind and drumsticks are vulnerable to wind so so far no major damage due to wind uh, and i do think that the raised bed system did work reasonably well so that's on the drumstick and on the other field as you see there's a lot of uh, weeds we are in the process of cleaning them up and and by the way between the two drumstick rows we have done um, ladies finger so these are all about 7 uh, to 8 weeks old they have started flowering and we are expecting the yield to start um, maybe another couple of weeks i think generally the growth in this section of the field has been below average i would say i think that is also mainly because there were some trees earlier in this section and <clears throat> there's a lot of uh, you know the soil is really loose or i think it's not having the rich richness compared to some sections like this where the growth is terrific and the top section is also much better than the one in the middle so still trying to learn how to assess the quality of the soil certainly i don't look at um, you know doing another soil test which i think just doesn't work for me we tried that in the earlier farm it's very expensive first the second thing is it is based on averages we cannot really afford to do testing at every part of the field so i guess it has to be by experience so hopefully the sapling technique should work and keep you posted on the progress so overall we are roughly averaging about 40 40 kg per week right now between just the grafted uh, brinjals and ladies finger i think there will be more ladies finger in the upcoming weeks and the yield at uh, for of the brinjal should also increase and i am curious to see how far how long this continues and if this works in the next couple of months we will expand the uh, grafted brinjal to the other part of the field as well which is another half an acre as far as challenges i think the main challenge that we are facing now is just the weeds controlling weeds is a big headache uh with the uh, with two labor families uh, certainly there are issues around that as well people are not consistent they do take more leaves one of them is also carrying so that is also not letting them you know spend a lot of time in the field so time put into the field is uh, is definitely a challenge um and i would say roughly 80 to 90 percent of the time goes in doing weeding related work so if we can mechanize this part like either using a, a mini tiller or maybe even a tractor for you know fields of this sort where there's 9 feet gap between the rows i think we can do uh, like maybe 5 to 6 acres with just two families and maybe i think that should be the focus for the uh, for the long term but for now we're just going to manage with this i do have some plans to experiment with uh, the brush cutter that i have there's one attachment it's called tiller attachment for brush cutter i'm planning to try some experiments with that if it works uh, it'll be good like uh, we can save some time with uh, for for removing the weeds on these raised beds so i'll probably share another update separately once we try that out water is not a challenge at this moment borewell seems to be working all right and there are a lot of good rains 
pests are not a major issue now for the most part like i said we are only trying preventive measures irrespective of whether there are pests or not almost every alternate week we do give uh, the neem spray or buttermilk spray and as a backup we have cotton oil which we have not gone yet growth promoters is just jivamrita and uh, we are about to start panch kavya so that's all that updates that i have for today things are coming along reasonably well and i hope that we can just get the drumsticks out to full fledged growth and and hopefully we can have more uh, more production from then on so by the way we did reach the 100 kg milestone with uh, with lady's finger last week and this is the first time we produced like in quintals so this is this is still not a, a daily uh, weight uh, we would like to get there some point of time uh, so we we did about 114 kg in lady's finger so far and and about 50 kg in brinjal next milestone is to touch a cumulative production of 1 ton and keep you posted as we as we take out more uh, brinjal and lady's finger okay so that is all the updates that i have for today um if you like this video um feel free to share a comment below and if you have any suggestions do please let me know and if you think there's anything that i can do to help you uh, again feel free to reach out okay see you on a different video then bye bye